Hey guys, Ryan King here, and I'm the keyboard instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In today's YouTube lesson, we're going to take a look at the song God is Able by Hillsong Worship. And specifically, we're going to look at the chorus. Now, we're only going to look at the chorus, so if you want to see the entire lesson, you need to click the link and head over to Worship Artistry where you can sign up for an account for less than 10 bucks a month, and it's totally worth it. But just in case you want to check out a YouTube video, this is for you. All of the choruses are identical in terms of the chords that you play. Now, depending on where you are in the song, you'll begin to change up your inversions just a little bit. If it needs to be a little bit softer and a little bit more mellow, you'll be kind of in the mid-register of the keyboard a little further down. If you need to really begin to build it, you'll move up a little bit. And then really, if it's rocking out, you can move up even higher. The first chorus looks like this. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So there you can see how I started off kind of here in the mid-register of it. I do B, F sharp, G sharp minor, and then E, and then when I do the B over D sharp, I shift an inversion. Hold the high B, F sharp, G sharp minor, B over F sharp, and then E2. Now that's the first chorus. Now coming out of the second verse into the second chorus, we'll just hold that second inversion that we played there. So we'll do B, G, three, four, F sharp, two, three, four, G sharp, two, three, four, and E, two, three, four, B, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, E, two. So basically, the second chorus is just the second half of the first chorus. So you're doing that big open B, F sharp, G sharp minor, down to the E. So all those inversions are the same. Now, whenever we go towards the latter part of the song, you can still do these same inversions for the chorus if you want to, or you could shift up even more if you want to. It's kind of up to you, depending on your band situation. Really, the thing to do is you don't want to step on the electric guitar player's heels there. You know, if he's playing in a certain register, you really don't want to be all over him because you, you could kind of cover him up. You want to allow him to play in his register, you play in yours. So that's the reason we kind of stay right here in the middle. But if you wanted to shine even more, you could move up an inversion. It would look like this. One, two, three, four. 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 And off. So you can see how moving up there really adds a lot of energy. There's a whole lot of high end, and when you've got that Leslie kicking on that high end, it really adds a lot of energy to it. And so that's where you can kind of shift up if you want to, depending on your situation. If you've got the electric guitar player playing up there, then just stick down to that middle register. Now coming out of the bridge, we go into kind of a down chorus, and it's very similar to the first chorus, just the first half. We're going to keep our voicings very simple. It looks like this. Two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and you move up, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and off. So you can see that that particular chorus there is almost identical to the first chorus. You just simplify your left hand just a little bit. Instead of playing, you know, octaves the entire time, just shift down to single notes. And, you know, because we've got a whole lot of high end here in the B3, you're not really going to hear the low end a whole lot. Uh, when you shift down to the low end here with the B3, you're going to hear more of the strings. And so that's what allows you to kind of, kind of, you know, move back and forth with, you know, having the strings be heard and then shift up and do the B3, have that be heard and kind
kind of come back. So again, this is the chorus. Make sure you take a look at your sheet music down below. Work through the loop video a few times. Let's move on to the next part of the lesson.